Look, if they don't like you, then I'll get a new family. <laughs> what is it? Charlotte, you're smart, funny, gorgeous, obviously. Pretty. Uh, wow. <laughs> I like being around you. I'm, I'm happier just being near you. I'm definitely not a robot or anything, and I can't wait for wait, you to be my what, family. What did my you brothers just, say? just that I like you. A lot. Hi, you two. Come on in. Hi, I'm Charlotte. Oh, what you got there? It's a book. I was reading the words on the page with my eyes. The words are written on the page. Cool. Uh, Charlotte, this is Teddy, my brother. Uh, by the way, also fully human. I'm sorry, what? Uh, boys, <laughs> the doctor is in. Charlotte, this is my father, uh, my actual biological father, Tom. Uh, that's Dr. Tom to you, buddy. So, uh, what kind of doctor are you? Uh, why don't we all have a drink? Good idea. I'll get us some drinks. In containers. To drink with our mouths. <laughs> that's how all humans talk, and that's what we are. It's not like we were built in a lab or anything. A lab. <laughs> Hilarious. Nope. Just a bunch of carbon-based life forms here. Don't get it twisted. Okay. Hi. I'm not stupid. Can I just ask? Are you guys robots? Teddy! What's going on with those drinks? Charlotte, you know me. I'm a person. We've been together for weeks now. Yeah, uh, yes, I do, Rudy, but I also know that people don't just talk about robots nonstop. I've met guys' families before, and yeah, it's awkward, but it's not like this. You don't keep mentioning robots over and over and over again unless you're... All right. The jig is up. Dad, no. <sighs> I'm not a doctor. I'm a scientist. We had to flee our country. Imagine that. A top scientist kicked out of his country like he was a dog. Why? Because I made my family out of wires, metal, tubes, buttons. I guess some people just couldn't accept that. Who wants human drinks? There he is! There he is. <laughs> right. So, I'm sorry, just to be clear, they are cyborgs. Hey, what's up? Oh, whoa, whoa, that whoa. That is our word. Yeah, that is a very racist term, Missy. Sure, they're robots, but they're my boys. And they are as good as any conventional human that you have ever met, or dated, or loved. This is all just a lot to take in. I know. Charlotte, I'm sorry. If you never want to speak to me again, I understand. This is what we eat. Yes. They eat oil. I don't know how it works. But I do know that my son has very real feelings for you. That is so sweet. I programmed them in there myself. Okay, that's less sweet. Look! Maybe we don't physically match up to your human standards. Damn, these hideous, crude bodies. Oh, you don't have to... I mean, okay, if you want to. Look at these hard lumps and lines where fat should be. The newer models will look like this. Like a real man. A real human. Lines smoothed out, soft to touch. This is what a human body should look like. I kind of like theirs better. I will not be fat shamed in my own house. Look, this has been... A shock. Rudy, I don't know what to say. What we're trying to say is we are robots. Yes, I'm very clear on that. We were built in a laboratory. Got it. Made of tin foil and buttons and... Ugh, screw it. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna lean into this whole robot boyfriend thing. Wait, really? You mean it? Feelings are feelings. <laughs> ah, how about that? My boy has a girl. 
a real gal. Let's celebrate by ingesting electricity. So are we like official official? Because if we're being honest, I'm kind of bored. We celebrate. Hey. What happened? How would we know? We are just robots. Beep bop boop beep. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a robot too? Mm. Well, are you or aren't you? Because if you aren't, that could make you very sick. <laughs> <laughs>